Can you see it? It's snowing! I've always loved the idea of a little cabin in the woods. And I love that with Lady Bug Out, I can park virtually anywhere I imagine and can have a little cabin in the woods in my tiny home on wheels. But with the colder weather and gas prices being what they are, I've been checking into real little cabins in the woods before I head south. And I am grateful to have that as an option. I know some people don't, but for me, to be able to afford going into these types of places when I can and when it's ridiculously cold outside and I don't want to necessarily try to rough it in my van. I'm not in it for that. I usually would be in warmer weather about now and I am heading south soon. But in the meantime, since the weather has changed pretty drastically, literally almost overnight, because it was in the 60s and 70s and now it's in the uh, 20s and 30s. Very weird. So I just thought I would check out a little cabin in the woods and I will show you that. Snow. Let's hope it's the kind that doesn't stick. out a cabin that I found on Airbnb on this farm. Here's the cabin. When you first walk in there is a refrigerator and microwave. I guess they don't want you cooking in here but they have enough for coffee and some snacks and things like that which if I want to cook I can cook in my van. Little bathroom. Nice, it has everything that you need. And then look at this. <laughs> Just in time for the snow. This is called the Moose Lodge. And this sleeps up to four people, I guess. There would be maybe person there and then up there, which I can't figure out how to get the ladder down. I don't think they want you to get it down unless you have more people, but there is also a bed up there. It would be nice to go up there, maybe. I think there's a desk too. Look out that window, it would be pretty. And then this is the farm, the entrance when you come there. I'll show other pictures of it when I get the chance, but it's really beautiful.
I'm not exactly sure how to turn off these Christmas lights. Hmm. Aha. Here's the end. Yes. Good night. So this is what my little cabin looks like. Very cozy and comfortable. And then there are other cabins on the property. There's one. Another one. Bear Lodge that I actually almost walked into thinking it's mine. And then this is the third cabin. It's a little house on the prairie one. Very cute. And then here's all the farming stuff. And you can hear the cows. And then I suppose if you had children, you could have a have them have some fun activities to do. This is what it's called, Grapevine Log Cabins. And it is a working farm, so they're up early with whatever they're doing. I think right now they are milking cows. And they said, if you want to participate in anything, you can just contact them. Hopefully I'll get to talk with them before I leave. But they pretty much let you stay by yourself if you want. And if you don't, you can just ask them to participate in whatever you want. But it's a really, really pretty farm there. If I had wanted to do bonfire or something or outdoor cooking and there's a trail I think there's like a mile trail that you can follow somewhere back here so this is the trail behind the cabins About a mile trail. And then, obviously, since it is a working farm, they are on the property. This is their where they are. Yeah. I'm Glenn Knudsen, and this is my family farm. We milk cows and uh, raise crops just to feed them hay, corn, oats. And my mom and dad got the idea for the cabins back in 99. And uh, 
Then my dad built one a year. People that are in their 50s will come here and say, or 60s, and they'll, you know, they you can come up in the barn, watch us milk and everything. And feed a baby calf. And yeah, feed calves. Some people grew up on a farm and then maybe left, and other ones came out of town to their grandpa and grandmas. And they'll say, this is what I remember a farm used to look like. They just say, this brings back so many memories for us. And they, they just have a blast. That, I mean, they come and they just zero out. No phone, nothing. They just want to get away. We have three cabins available on Airbnb. We have the Moose Lodge, the Bear Lodge, and Little House on the Prairie. And we're on, you can find us at grapevinelogcabins.com. People say, sometimes I'll ask us, what do they need to bring? And I'll just tell them yourself and if you want to cook out on the grill because they're, and people, some people don't ask and they'll get here and they'll come on and they'll say, we didn't have to bring half the stuff we brought. They'll say, everything is here. Um, everything is here. It's beautiful. We just try to think about everything so that everybody, so they have stuff. Well, it was a very comfortable stay. I enjoyed it immensely. I wish I had some more days to stay here. Sadly, it is time to go. I really enjoy this place. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed your little stay with me at this cabin. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.